Hi, we are back with another video on the topic what is Raspberry Pi. Before we deep dive, please make sure you subscribe to Scalar's YouTube channel and don't forget to turn on the bell notification icon. If you have any doubts, feel free to drop a comment below. What is Raspberry Pi? If you are interested in getting started with a Raspberry Pi but don't know where to begin from, then this video is for you. The world's first computer was as big as a room with more memory than a microwave. But years later, things have changed, especially computers. In today's session, we are going to discuss the Raspberry Pi, one of the cheapest and smallest computers in the world. Let's get started. Before diving deep into the Raspberry Pi and its aspects, let us first give you a glimpse of today's agenda. First, what is Raspberry Pi? Second, working of Raspberry Pi? Third, use cases. What exactly is a Raspberry Pi? Raspberry Pi is a low-cost, credit cost size computer with all the functions as a fully-fledged regular PC, but in a more compact and cheaper form factor. The Raspberry Pi is a giant step that has brought about a storm in the technological world. It is a mini device that allows emerging programmers to explore the computers, learn about programming languages including Python and Scratch. It enables them to perform any task you would expect a regular computer to do, such as surfing the internet, playing online games, making spreadsheets, watching high definition videos and streaming online shows. In short, it's a tiny, tiny version of a regular computer. Have you ever thought about the name Raspberry Pi? The raspberry here is the juicy fruit that everyone craves. Whereas the Pi isn't your regular Pi, but taken from the Python language that together makes Raspberry Pi. This unique but functional computer came into existence in the year 2012. And since then, there have been several releases that have overtaken the market like no other. The best part of it is that the Raspberry Pi can be used for different projects such as starting retro gaming, controlling robots, building security channels or network monitoring, which is one of our favorite of all. If we include this in a sentence, then when it comes to creating projects on Raspberry Pi, you pretty much give wings to your imagination. Before we dive any further, let's briefly look at the history of the Raspberry Pi. As mentioned earlier, the Raspberry Pi was introduced in 2012 and was initially designed by Raspberry Pi Foundation, a charitable organization dedicated to education. The Raspberry Pi was first designed for kids to learn programming languages and for the citizens of third world countries to access computers at cheap rates. Later, when the Greeks find out about this unique invention, they started doing all sorts of projects with it. The rest is history. Now, when you have got enough understanding of Raspberry Pi and its history, it's time to dig in further and understand how it works. Working of Raspberry Pi The information age began in the 1970s when computers entered the home and brought with it the ability to gather information at just a touch of a button or the click of a mouse. Advances in technologies have been a never-ending process and this is where Raspberry Pi came in. While the benefits of computer technology are extensive, the difference in classes and economies are hard to ignore. People with no access to computers fail to keep up with emerging technological advancements and find themselves falling behind their peers. It was to bridge this very gap between the poor and rich in the context of technology that the Raspberry Pi was introduced, bringing in an unsaid tech revolution. Let's start by learning what all you need to get started. To get started with the Raspberry Pi, there's a series of other things that you need to consider apart from the Raspberry Pi. Remember, the Raspberry Pi is the heart of your project, but it alone cannot manage the entire working. It needs the following elements to get started and keep running things smoothly. First, the Raspberry Pi. Second, a power supply. Third, a micro SD card. Fourth, a case. And fifth, mouse, keyboard and HDMI cable. Let's study all these factors in detail to understand the working of Raspberry Pi. 
The first and foremost is the Raspberry Pi itself, which is unarguably essential. The entire discussion makes no sense as it is the project's core. First, Raspberry Pi. Invented with a preset goal to impart education, the ultra tiny computer is cheap yet functional and works like a regular desktop, if not better. You must be feeling a bit overwhelmed at this point. If yes, then you move further and introduce you to other aspects of Raspberry Pi that together promote easy functioning. Second, power supply. The previously introduced version of Raspberry Pi used the micro USB for power delivery, whereas the introduction of Raspberry Pi 4 requires USB-C. There are higher chances that your phone charger won't serve the purpose entirely, hence it is recommended to invest in a power adapter designed especially for Pi by the Raspberry Pi Foundation. The regular USB chargers like around the house might not deliver the best results. Moreover, the less you have to troubleshoot, the better the experience will be. Third, a micro SD card. With the upgradation in technology, the latest Raspberry Pi uses the micro SD card for storage. Whereas, the original Pi was dependent on the regular SD card that functions well. There must be times when the standard SD card won't work perfectly. So your bet is to invest in the official Raspberry Pi micro SD card especially designed for the easy functioning of the Raspberry Pi. All you need to do is to plug the SD card into the given slot, just like a USB adapter. Fourth, a case. Don't you think protecting your Raspberry Pi is as important as buying it? Though buying a fully fleshed case for Raspberry Pi is an optional choice, we definitely suggest it as it multiplies the Pi age. There are multiple options in the market that you can explore and take your pick from. Apart from the simple, regular cases, there are various incredible options available, such as retro gaming cases or transparent glasses for a touch of funk. Fifth, mouse, keyboard and HDMI cable. Depending upon the project you are currently working on, you need a mouse, keyboard and HDMI cable so that you probably do not mess up in the first place. Here is how it works. First, the SD card is inserted in the given slot on the board that acts as a hard drive for the Raspberry Pi. Second, it is powered by USD and the video output can be hooked to a modern monitor, a standard RCA TV set or even a TV using HDMI port. Third, all of this promotes the basic functioning of a normal computer. Fourth, the best Raspberry Pi includes power consumption as low as 3 watts which roughly means you can run up to 30 Raspberry Pis in place of a standard bulb light. Once we have discussed the Raspberry Pi setup and its functioning, it won't be fair on my end if I don't tell you what projects you can start with with a little new member of your technological world. So below is our roundup of the best Raspberry Pi users and projects around. Adding new technology to a setup is a big decision. And now when you've finally taken the plunging, and what a Raspberry Pi, to whom, what can you use it for? Can this little device really act as a really functional desktop, a radio station and a servo? Well, yes. To get you started, we are going to discuss a whole bunch of uses for the Raspberry Pi. So don't go anywhere and keep watching the video. Replace your desktop PC with the Raspberry Pi. The simplest and the most popular use of the Raspberry Pi is to use it as a fully fledged computer. It works as a traditional computer along with a micro SD card, power supply, HDMI cable and a suitable display. The Raspberry Pi 3 features built-in via Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Though the older models do not have this feature, you will need compatible USB dongles. Print with your Raspberry Pi. Do you still use the traditional printers that work really well but cannot be connected wirelessly? Well, it's time to up your dead technological game as Raspberry Pi is here to solve your printing problems. All you need is a Raspberry Pi connected to your home network and some print server software. Add AirPrint support to your Pi print server. When you have learned printing from a Mac, Windows or Linux computer, what about tablets and phones? To serve that purpose rightfully, the AirPrint support came into existence which can be added via single script. However, most printers promote printing from mobile devices, whereas with Raspberry Pi, 
you can extend this functionality to older printers. Set up a retro gaming machine. Raspberry Pi is a compact and powerful enough to promote endless uses. Out of all, the most popular use of the Raspberry Pi is that it deals with retro gaming machines. Like regular PCs, there are mainly two functions available for retro gaming, Recall Box and Retro Pi. However, many popular games can be revived on the Raspberry Pi. All that it will need is a suitable controller with some initial configuration. Build a Minecraft game server. The goodness doesn't stop with the retro gaming, whereas it comes with a particular version of Minecraft pre-installed that can be used as a game server. Though hard to believe, it's true. It lets you play effectively from anywhere on your home network and ensures a great gaming experience that's hard to resist. Beyond Minecraft, there are other multiplayer networks that can be set up on the Raspberry Pi. Control a robot. Another important use of the Raspberry Pi is that it works as a robot controller. There have been ongoing projects related to the same that are difficult to settle in a single video, but let's talk about a few. The Raspberry Pi will ensure more processing power to make the right choice. Build a stop motion camera. Are you one of those who are hooked on slow motion videos? Well, we love them, and we know, so do you, as they never fail to amuse. But how is stop motion made? Find out with the Raspberry Pi and a dedicated camera module. Though it's a time-consuming process, with the Python programming language a well-lit area and some significant practice, it's 100% possible. Make a time-lapse video. Combining the Raspberry Pi camera module along with various scripts leads to capturing time-lapse movies. Yet another but effective use of Raspberry Pi. Film flowers, vegetables, fruits, or people passing by to create a time-lapse video, you will perhaps need a portable battery solution and a tripod to complete the process. Broadcast a FM radio station. Imagine a scenario where you want to communicate with a group of people who don't have access to the internet. The answer is radio. With this, we land on another use of Raspberry Pi capable of broadcasting on the FM band. Though broadcasting is allowed only to a certain distance only, fortunately, the Pi only covers the short distances, minimizing the risk involved. Build a motion capture security system. Our last, yet most compelling use case of the Raspberry Pi is to build a motion capture security system. If questions like who is trespassing on a property, who is trying to sneak in front of the back door, or want to enter a room revolve around your head, the answer is Raspberry Pi. Remember, you will need a high definition micro SD card for storing footages, else it will be of no use. With this, we end today's session. If you guys have any queries or questions related to what we just discussed, you can leave your questions in the chat box below. I have the answer for all of you. Before leaving, let's quickly have an overview of what we discussed in today's session for better understanding. We started our session with a brief introduction to Raspberry Pi and what exactly the Raspberry Pi is. Later, we jump into its history, how it evolved and its sole purpose. Another point of discussion was to set up and the working of Raspberry Pi where we deeply understood the various elements. In the end, we discussed the top 10 uses of Raspberry Pi with a detailed tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to like and share this video. For any queries, comment below and we will get right back to you. Thank you.